How's it going everyone? This is Cloud Chief. In today's video, I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about Synergy. The thing about Synergy is that it kind of ties into crafting. It is a whole separate thing of itself, but there are some Synergies that actually require that you have a crafting level. For example, if you're trying to do a synth uh, with Synergy, and it requires, say, a journeyman's woodworker, you would need to have a journeyman woodworker in your party, but you would only need one person in there to meet those requirements. As long as you can do that, then you can do the synergy. There are some synergies that don't actually require any skill in a craft, like the gorgets or the belts, if you're trying to make the Fotia stuff, or if you're trying to make enchanters torque or combatants torque. However, they are high high level synergy synths and therefore will not be easy to complete but it is something that you can do. The main goal to synergize is of course to you know make your item. However to do this when you first trade in your item it will give you a bunch of elemental values essentially saying that you need to hit these elemental values to successfully complete the synergy. To do this you quick feed Feywell and then you go ahead and click the Feywell that you want. You're typically going to be adding somewhere between 5 and a 10 uh, value to whatever that you add. So to successfully synergize something, you need to get all the elements as close to the values indicated as possible. You can actually complete a synth and get the item out of it if your values are within 5, either above or below. The closer you get, the better. I've definitely had times where it's been only like 5 off and I've still failed. Uh, but I've also had times where it's been like 5 off on 2 values successfully uh, makes the item. You will also get a message that will pop up that will say that the item or object has taken form. If you click end synergy at that point, you will actually get the item. It doesn't necessarily need to say that to get the item, but if it does say that, then all you need to do is uh, click end synergy without having the values skew too much anymore by say feeding in more fey wells and you will get the item as long as it's close enough and you hit end synergy uh you then have a chance of getting the item when you are feeding fey wells it will end up building up the element of whatever type it'll also have a chance to slightly lower the element uh, that is it's weak to it so a perfect example of this because all the like torques and belts and stuff that you would want to make uh, typically need dark and light so if you're feeding light it'll lower the dark by a little bit and then you know obviously if you're feeding dark it'll lower light basically if you're going to have to do both of them or uh, one other element um, feed it uh, just a little bit above considering you know by feeding the, you know the element that it is weak to it is actually going to lower the value. There are multiple things you can do to prevent explosions. By hitting thwack you have a chance to actually stop an explosion. You should only be thwacking the synergy furnace if there's an imminent explosion about to happen. Every time you thwack though it is going to lower the durability or essentially lower the HP or time you have to complete the synergy. Uh, but if you successfully stop the explosion, it'll actually lower the impurities to zero. However, you have a very low chance of success unless you end up having a lot of levels in thwacking. However, thwacking can be one of the easiest ways to complete a synergy if you have it high level. The next operation of furnace is to operate the pressure handle. And this is supposed to reduce the chance of an explosion by lowering the pressure. But this also lowers some of the values on the actual numbers. Uh, but it will help prevent an explosion. Uh, you could use this, but I honestly recommend using the next option over this um, for what I'm going to suggest. Oh, and using this option will reduce your uh, dark element Feywells by 3. The next option is to operate the safety lever. And this is going to uh, reduce the impurity levels by using this. This will use 6 dark element Feywells to use. So one method that I do suggest if you have multiple uh, low levels is having one person pretty much just spam this because by doing that you keep the internal pressure low 
and it's you know very easy for the other person to keep just adding in the Feywells and you won't ever really get an explosion. The bad part about doing this is this is going to eat up your dark fey wells really fast in fact you might only be able to get one uh synergy attempt in before you need to go talk to the npc to refill your fey wells however i see it possible to do one of these high level synths by doing that having two people one person just you know try and actually make the item and feeding the items while the other person is literally spamming operating uh, safety lever to keep the internal pressure down there is also an option to repair the furnace which will give the furnace a little bit of HP and this will actually use light uh, element Feywells however I've never really used this as it gives so little I think you're better off just worrying about preventing the explosions and trying to feed the Feywells to get your uh, you know synergy complete there are armors from crafts that can actually give you additional benefits uh, for when you're actually operating the furnace. However, I don't really see the need for these. Uh, if you already have a craft leveled, I could see possibly picking them up. Um, and I would just, you know, check out possibly online these options. But I've never really used them. I just like, try and operate the furnace and, you know, just make the thing. I just make sure I'm always doing it with at least one other person and we always get the synth completed sooner rather than later. Once you've gotten your elemental values that you feel is close enough to create the item, you can go ahead and hit end synergy and if you are close enough, it will go ahead and create the item for you. If you get really close, you'll actually get a message pop up that says that the item has taken form. If you go ahead and then click end uh, synergy at that point, you're guaranteed to get the item. You do have a chance without that message popping up of getting the item just to note if it's not popping up it's not a hundred percent but i've still gotten the item plenty of times without getting that message i want to go over two quick things before i wrap up this video one about leveling up and two about two different strategies you could use that i think work really well for successfully creating your item and synergy leveling up synergy is actually really easy what i honestly recommend doing is getting on a mage job that can cast haste and it needs to be the actual magic uh Hey, spell you cast on a bard wouldn't work because you would still receive the effect of slow so you go ahead and cast haste on yourself and figure out a synergy that's somewhat high level significantly higher than your current level and go ahead and start it and literally just spam earth Feywells in there it's going to over explode but when it overloads and explodes uh, you would receive slow effect but since you have haste it won't stick and you can immediately just start feeding Feywells again and it doesn't really matter just by feeding fey wells you will get skill ups after you've gotten five levels you can talk to the synergy npc and choose a category to upgrade in you know whatever area you can actually get synergy to level cap now i want to talk about actually creating the items so I think that you need at least two people. I'm sure someone, if they had whatever craft and synergy, you know, high enough level or higher than what the craft is, that you could do it by yourself. But I've not really attempted it by myself. I always bring at least one friend. So I would get a friend to try and help you. And if you both have decent skill, uh, what I recommend doing is, is one person just focused on feeding the Feywells. Uh, the other person can focus feeding just one category of Feywells, and you'd want to discuss who's doing whatever element beforehand. Um, but the person that's also just feeding the one Feywells will also be trying to thwack it whenever an explosion starts. Uh, we've done that, and as long as everyone's decently, you know, skilled. Uh, you don't really have a problem and you can easily uh, get the synth done with typically extra HP left over. The other method, and you would want to use this if you don't have levels in synergy, is to have at least two people, maybe even three, and have one person literally just keep operating the lever or operating the furnace and to just continually operate the safety lever to release the pressure. Uh, in doing so, you will lower a little bit of the values that they add, but it shouldn't really be a big deal because you're preventing the explosion. And the other person should literally just be trying to spam out whatever you need to get the element to complete the synergy. Uh, by both people doing this, uh, I've been able to successfully create a high level synth, uh, even though we are not actually high level. 
The thing to be aware of though is that every time you operate the safety handle you are using up six dark element Feywells. So you might need to refill your Feywell basket from the NPC after every single synth attempt. So just something to be aware of. By following these directions, you can easily create pretty much any uh, item you want from Synergy. Like I said, the only thing to note is if it's uh, something that requires certain crafts, you would need a crafter in the party for that. Outside of that, it's really easy. And like I said, the uh, like the elemental gorgets, uh, the sky torques, and all the other uh, items like that that you can synergize, uh, you can do just two people. There's no craft to it. And I believe everyone should be able to get this done. I've definitely seen comments where people say they don't want to bother doing it because they don't want to bother with Synergy. But it's honestly not that bad, and I see no reason why you shouldn't get it. Just grab a buddy and, you know, try and knock it out. I know there's a lot more to Synergy that I haven't really touched on, but to be fair, I've only really used these to make my Fotia, Belt and Gorget, the Combative, and Enchanter's uh, Torx. I haven't really done much else with Synergy. Um, personally, for me, it doesn't really have any desire, but I did really want those items. And it was really easy uh, to do. So by following this guide, you really should have no problems uh, completing getting those items. If you feel there's anything important for Synergy that I've missed, feel free to leave a comment so that way we can inform others. And I honestly wouldn't mind learning a little more about Synergy because, like I said, I don't really know a lot. I just use it to get my gear. Um, but I hope this video helps some people out. Hopefully some people now can, you know, not be as intimidated by getting their gorgets and belts out of this. And may you have success in all you do.